Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Spring Data Elasticsearch project. First, let's create a Spring Boot project. For this I'm going to use Spring Initializer. Here I'll select the Spring Boot version as 2.5.9. I'll fill the group name as com.vkstech. Artifact name as Elasticsearch and project name will also be same. For description, it'll be demo project for Spring Data Elasticsearch. And let me change the artifact name to Elasticsearch Demo. And package name to com.vkstech.elasticsearch. I'll select the packaging as WAR and Java version as 8. Also, you might be wondering why did we choose this specific version of Spring Boot. So, if you go to Spring Data Elasticsearch documentation, you will find that current stable version is available for 2.5.x only. Note that there are two versions available, but we're focusing on second one because the first one is currently in development. Now, let's add some dependencies. First I'll add the Spring Web dependency. Next, I'll add the Spring Data Elasticsearch dependency. And I'll also add Lombok. You can also click on explore to check if everything is fine or not. I'm changing the build tool to Gradle, then click on generate. This will download the project as zip. And you can extract it to any location. I'm choosing the location as desktop, but you can select any location. Now, let's download Elasticsearch. Since we are following this, so our Elasticsearch version will be 7.12.0. So, let's select it from drop down and click on download. I'm selecting the Windows version here and it will start downloading. It will take a couple of minutes. Once it is downloaded, open the zip and extract it to your root folder or your C drive. Navigate to the folder where you just extracted it. Once you're inside the folder, go to the bin directory and double click on elasticsearch.bat file. It will start up your Elasticsearch service to which your Spring Boot project will connect to. Your Elasticsearch service is now running and it has opened the port 9300 for internal communications. If you go down, you can see it has also opened port 9200. This port is used for external communications when it is deployed on an external server. Now let's open our IDE. I'm using IntelliJ here. Click on Open Project. Browse to the desktop directory. Select your extracted project and click on Open. If you're opening it for the first time, it might take some time as it needs to download the required dependencies. Once IntelliJ is finished loading your project, navigate to SRC then Main then Java, and then inside your package you'll find your main application class. Click on the run icon to start your Spring Boot application.
here you can see that your application has started. You can see it in the logs that the Spring Data Elasticsearch version used here is 4.2.8. Elasticsearch client used in the build is 7.12.1. And Elasticsearch cluster, which we installed is 7.12.0. You can also install version 7.12.1 if you want but this version will also work as we have seen in the Spring documentation. With this our Spring Data Elasticsearch application is successfully created. In the next video, I will show you how you can add and retrieve data from Elasticsearch cluster.